Kevin Castle. We are here to interview him on collaboration. So, what exactly comes to mind first when you think of the word collaboration? Um, well, the first thing that comes to mind is, you know, you can't do everything on your own. Um, one thing that you learn in business quickly um, is that uh, those individuals who try to do everything themselves and uh, really not only limit their ability to get things done, but um, really are hurt by the um, advantages that they have from the uh, unique talents of others. And so, you know, collaborating, when I think of that, for me it's, uh, you know, one, it takes a little bit of humility for some people who have a lot of pride and want to do things the only their own way. But first of all, recognizing that, um, you know, the more um, people that are involved, the more diverse thoughts you can get, and actually, at the end, you usually get a better project if you coordinate it. What do you think are the most important aspects of collaboration? Um, in the business world, um, you really see corporations, and do they get along or not, but in reality, it always comes down to individual personalities, do they get along or not. And um, I would say that uh, one of the challenges that I see in collaborating is um, people tend to not listen to each other. They don't. They assume they understand the other side without listening and, and, and confirming they understand. So they sometimes jump to conclusions which may or may not be correct. And those misunderstandings start to wedge. And with additional lack of communication it gets worse and worse and so one of the I think key challenges to collaboration that I've seen you know even with our own students on campus within teams is the, the lack of the ability to listen and to understand not just to keep your mouth shut because there are a lot of students that just do that too but they really in some cases don't really try to understand the other side and and some that talk too much too, and that, that happens in the real business world too. Do you have any personal tips from your experiences about collaboration and teamwork? Oh boy, well, um, all I can say is that, um, you know, in business today, especially large corporations such as where I work at Intel and Varian, um, you, you start coming from a perspective where you work in these things called matrix organizations where um, I had you know, four or five different bosses, I worked with a, a team that was uh, dispersely located in uh, 13 or 14 different countries, different time zones, and um, it's absolutely critical that if you want to be successful in business, you need to learn how to effectively um, work with others and teams. Um, if you're only good at, you know, taking what you do and going into a cubicle or locking yourself in the closet and getting it done, um, you know, maybe accounting might be good for you. I don't know, <laughs> but that's about the only people that I know that are good at locking themselves in closets with spreadsheets or accountants. Um, don't let Brother Kimball see this. And then uh, um, I would say that, um, yeah, uh, what I've learned is once you understand that, that you know, it's important, I actually find that that was my most enjoyable part of business. Um, the thing that I miss the most is my teams um, of people that I was able to hire and develop and work with. And uh, some of the most rewarding experiences I had more than you know, inking big deals or, or making money was actually the relationships and the people I was able to work with over the years. That's what I really think about and miss the most. And um, I think that that's uh, 